Well, hello everybody and welcome to Virtual Church. Welcome back to the BIS Music Room. Um, we are here. What you just saw there was me in Llandaff in Wales and we've got a few more of those to come in today's show. So it's going to be a combination of Llandaff recordings and live performance right from this organ. So let's now go into a very live performance of Jeez You Lover of My Soul, Let Me To Thy Bosom Fly. This is a request from Bill Rayty. So we have lots to get through tonight. Lots of requests, lots of Llandaff, of course a top five to get through tonight by Ian Garden. Hello Ian. Um, and of course your live requests at the end as well. So Jeez You Lover of My Soul. Jeez, you lover of my soul, um, to the wonderful tune there, Avriswith, requested by Bill Rayty. So thank you very much. Bill, obviously a wonderful hymn for Advent. Uh, Advent, <laughs> Lent, of course. Um, taking it into our uh, second request tonight, which comes in from uh, Brady Kilman, um, who's requested um, a, a, a fantastic Welsh hymn actually and this one would have been fab to play on the organ in Wales in Llandaff. It is Cumrontha, one of the greatest of Welsh uh, tunes. Guide me, O thou great redeemer, pilgrim through this barren land. I do hope that you all enjoyed the uh, uh, content from Llandaff over the last couple of days. Uh, please do let me know as I'm playing this hymn. Um, what was your favourite moment from 
the Llandaff series so far, because of course you haven't heard the hymns yet. Oh, I should say actually that the, the hymns that you hear tonight are only a very quick edit that I've put together today. I'm going to put them all together in an upload over the next uh, couple of days, and they will be far more, um, far more slick and beautifully presented. But um, they're a little bit um, last minute due to <laughs> lack of time. So look out for that. Anyway, so Brady uh, has asked for Guide Me With Our Great Redeemer to the tune Come Rontha. can't play that hymn and in, in, in surely in any other way than um, than that particularly verse 3 death of deaths and hell's destruction <laughs> it's a, a really uh, positive a wonderful hymn isn't it wonderful particularly at the end uh, evermore <laughs> wonderful stuff we're going to go now into another pre-record oh dear we're going to go into another pre-record now from Llandaff, um, and this one is, um, it's an American hymn which has been introduced to me uh, by yourselves. It's When Peace Like a River. It's, it's called It Is Well With My Soul. I wanted to play this uh, because I know a lot of you are uh, an American, uh, in, a, in America, um, and a lot of you will know this hymn, and it, it's always well received when I play it. So, it is When Peace like a river attendeth my soul.
as the final words end there, it, it is well with my soul. Um, and it is indeed well with my soul when you've um, sung that hymn. It's really wonderful to sing that hymn and, and to read the words. And to think about the courage that the guy who went through that ordeal, um, the courage that he had and the positive outlook he had on life, despite uh, everything seeming, seeming to go against him. I think that's really inspiring. So at the end there, I was using the, 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 the tuba uh, in conjunction or in, in, alter, in alternation with the, uh, the orchestral trumpet. And then for the final line, I uh, had them both on at the same time. And it makes, believe me when I say it, it makes quite a sound in that building. It's a very clear organ, actually. It, it, it speaks very, very clearly because you have those two chambers, one on each side of the cathedral. And when you have... Um, that stereo uh, spatial um, layout, the, the pipes are just able to speak so, so, with such clarity than, than if they were just put in a, in a single chamber, in a box, where they just, they're just they all fighting to get out. So it's, if you're ever in South Wales, it's in Cardiff, Llandaff, um, uh, it's basically a suburb of Cardiff, South Wales, Go and check it out. It's a beautiful little town. Uh, well, it's a city, actually. Um, and they're very welcoming. So go and say hello to Stephen Moore um, and Aaron Shilson and say that BIS sent you there. Good. So the next hymn we have uh, comes in from uh, Benjamin Yao, who says, To thank Bill Ratey for his, <laughs> his time-stamping work. Um, in the last VC, Bill said in the live chat that he is charmed by anything with a 6-8 metre. So here's another one. So Benjamin Yao has requested this for Bill Ratey. And it is, um, oh how sweet the glorious message, simple faith may claim. Yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. And, and, and as uh, Benjamin says, it's in a 6-8 metre. No, it sounds a little bit, a little bit like this. I just realised actually when I, was, when I was watching back on those videos, I look really cross, I look really angry, but I'm not. It's just the, it's the angle of the, the camera and makes my, it makes my face look miserable. But I'm not. I was, I was playing a really a, an amazing organ and I had a, a really fabulous couple of days. So I was having the time of my life, despite what, you might, what it might look like. I was actually having a very good time. I must smile more. Let's, uh, but ooh, it gets to a point where it gets a bit ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> Here we go.
rocking horse rhythm, says Barbara Ives. Yeah, it definitely has that sort of lilting sort of um, feeling, doesn't it? it? It just makes you want to just just do that. It just I don't know what it is about that sort of rhythm and that meter. If you're in a good mood, you would just do that naturally, wouldn't you? Bom, bom, bom. So that was, oh, how sweet the glorious message. Simple faith may claim. Uh, yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. Still he loves to save the sinful, heal the sick and lame. Cheer the mourner, still the tempest, glory to his name. And then the refrain was, yesterday, today, forever, Jesus is the same. All may change, but Jesus never. Glory to his name, glory to his name. And then it repeats, glory to his name. All may change, but Jesus never. Glory to his name. Now would be a great time for you to let me know who on earth is watching. So if you want, if you'd like to give me a plus one in your location, that would be fantastic. It's one of my favorite things to see. I can actually already see some names that I don't recognize. So Gerhard, as I said, he's from Nuremberg in Germany. Uh, hello, very welcome. Um, Larry Hill, I don't recognize that picture unless you've just changed that picture. Um, so if you, yeah, just everyone give me a plus one and your uh, location. It's really wonderful to see the worldwide community. There you go. So thank you very much for doing that. Um, and I can look back uh, at the chat at a later date because obviously I'm here to play hymns for you. Next hymn that's come in is from Ben Wallace. Ben's been in the community for a long time and he's a, he's a great supporter. Um, and I'm always very happy to play um, Ben's requests. What, what's he sent in today? He sent in, he sent in, I love to tell the story. Somewhere in York, that's good. York's a nice city up north in, in, uh, in England. Lots of people from America, we've got Texas, we've got Australia. Oh, someone in Lancashire. Scotland, Mary. Oh. Tell you what, Mary, we've had some terrible weather down in England. Terrible. What's it, like, what's it been like up in Scotland? Has it been really sunny and glorious? That would be annoying. Yeah, so here we go then. I love to tell the story. Let me find it in my, um, uh, what do you call it? My um, hymnal. Problem with having so many um, uh, hymns in here now, got nearly 500 hymns on, on, on the iPad. It actually takes me a long time to find them. <laughs> so the words are this. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it's true. It satisfies uh, my longings as nothing else can do. And the tune is called um, Hanky. I can see someone in Derbyshire. Um, Pauline, it's good to have you from whereabouts in Derbyshire. I know Derbyshire pretty well. I know North Derbyshire, especially. Nick Nack, yes, these are, all, these are all from requested hymns over the past, how long have I been using the iPad? I don't know, but yeah, so all of the hymns that get requested get put onto the iPad so I can just play them from the screen rather than having to go through all the hymn books. So yes, that's a good indication of how many individual hymn, hymns we've had requested because of course a lot of them get repeated. Ah, right. What should we have, guys? Should we, we have the flute harmonique on the Grand Org? That's a beautiful stop. One of the greatest stops, organ stops in existence, I think. The flute harmonique. Did you know that a flute harmonique um, on the Kavai Col organs, even though they're eight foot pitch, they're actually at 16 foot length. So the reason they actually sound so wonderfully warm and, uh, for want of a better word, fat, you know, warm, wide, fat sound, is because even though they're eight foot, they're actually, it's actually a 16 foot stop. Um, generally, only half of it is 16. So at some point, Maybe around there, it goes back to eight foot. 
the top octave is, is always double length to give it that big sound. Isn't that really clever? Let's, let, let's have that for verse one. Thanks, um, Ben, for standing us in. After this one, we'll have our third hymn from Llandaff Cathedral. Did just someone someone just said, Kathleen, what happened to the refrain? Yes, that's a good that is a very good question. It is a very good question. I thought there was I thought there was a refrain as well. But there's not one on that there's not one on that um on that one. Uh, I thought I could have sworn that I actually that's a lot um iPad with the refrain. I think I've not. Oh. Well fancy that it's not it's not on. I'll have to um I'll I'll tell you what I could do actually. I'll tell you what I could do. Bear with me a second. Please don't switch off. I always see I always get very dismayed when the um numbers sort of dip when I, when I start waffling. With me a sec. Problem is, problem is Ben. If I uh, there's the refrain. How do I? How on earth am I going to do that? Oh, I don't know what to do about that. Page one, and then where's page two? Page two. But if I it's, if I turn the iPad, oh, oh, <laughs> I can't rotate it. So without without um, sort of looking at it like that, or like that, I get a crick in my neck. So uh, <laughs> lock the screen, and I'll play that. There we go. I'll play the refrain. I can I can play, I can see the refrain. So I'll play the refrain. It goes like this. Oh heavens above.
we got there eventually. <laughs> we got there eventually, Ben. Apologies for for messing that one around a little bit. Um, I managed to lock the lock the iPad screen, so it does it does stay that like that. But I have to keep on scrolling like that. I'll make sure that next time um, that one's that one's fixed. Right, that takes us into our next hymn from Landaf. This one is this one um, was requested only fairly recently um, on BIS, and it's become a fa one of my favourite um, non-English hymn tunes. Sort of one of my favourite hymns that's been requested by an American. Put it that way. It's a drawers in the spirit's tether. Um, and I recorded this for a friend, an online friend who um, has been very supportive. So if you're watching, this one is especially uh, for you. I know you know who I'm talking about because we've been emailing about it. So drawers in the spirit's tether uh, on the organ of Llandaff Cathedral. And even though I may not look like I'm smiling on the outside, on the inside, I am having a whale of a time. great tune isn't it that as Larry has just said it is called Union Seminary um, and it is an American composer I don't actually have the name of the composer to hand um, but it's a really um, I thank you very much Jerry it's one of you one of your favorite hymns yeah it's actually become one of mine actually it's a great tune and actually when I, when I finished playing I recorded six hymns six or seven hymns uh, from Planned F and when I finished uh, recording I we were doing some, um, but just beforehand, we were doing, um, what did we do? Oh, we did the organ demonstration with, with Aaron. So he did that. And then I hopped on the organ and recorded the hymns. So what, when I, what you see me playing there is only moments after Aaron has just done his organ demo. And uh, afterwards, I mean, I thought they'd, I thought they'd gone because I, I was just playing hymns and just finding some, playing around of stops and there was one or two, um, uh, retakes because I didn't quite get the registration right because I don't, I don't know the organ so I was basically you know doing what I do here just sort of doing it all by hand and learning the organ as I go 
um, but there were one or two occasions, as with here, that uh, the size of the organ caught me out. So I did a few retakes, and it probably took me about 45 minutes to do it, um, a bit longer than I was hoping. And I realised that, that actually they were still in the cathedral. Uh, there were Aaron and Stephen and their respective partners were all in the cathedral listening. I thought, oh heavens, if I knew they were there I would have actually gone a bit faster and not done so many retakes. Uh, but they, um, they shouted up, what was, what was the name of that first hymn I played? And the first one I recorded was, uh, was that one, Drawers in the Spirit's Tether. Because um, it, it feels like it's, um, it, it's a really good tune. You know, it's, it's got a good harmony and it's, it feels like it's a, a sort of a traditional hymn. You know, it's not a, uh, it's not a modern worshipy type song. It's a very traditional, do you know what I'm trying to say? And it works really well. I think, I think they were impressed with it as well. So I think I've exposed more people to that hymn than I had intended to. So the next request uh, comes in from uh, Derek Warren who's requested, In the cross of Christ I glory, towering over the wrecks of time. Not to the tune um, um, Cross of Jesus by Stainer, to the tune Rathbun here by um, Ithamar Conkey. Um, it's a rather nice tune. And thank you all for your donations and your requests. We will get uh, to those later in the show after we get through Ian Garden's top five hymns, uh, which is actually coming um, relatively shortly, and we'll get to all the live requests um, after that. Another take, Mr. McVeigh. Yes, please. So a tune there was uh, called Rathbun, and um, yeah, it might have been a bit slower, I suppose. Uh, who's that, Doug? Yeah, I mean, I think actually I probably uh, I'm inclined to agree with you. I think it probably should be a bit slower. I think it, I think yeah, maybe with the words, because obviously it's a Lenten hymn um, uh, talking about the cross of Christ. Um, Maybe, yeah. I just think the tune is more is is in some ways more positive than the words, with it being in C major and in three four time. I think. In all 
also, in this key, it's actually very high to sing. So though, uh, that top E for, a uh, for an aging congregation is quite high, particularly on a Sunday morning. And it's a long note. And it's only the third note of the hymn. And it's like, ah, all the way up there. And then in the third line as well, it's back. All the way up there. But yeah, I'll take, I'll, I'll take your point. I'll take your point. Um, so that was from Derek Warren. So thank you very much, Derek. Carmen Foster. I've seen Carmen chatting away and has made a request as well. So very, thank you very much, Carmen. You sent something in during the week. And it is... I'm just going to try now, rather than scrolling for ages, I'm actually going to just try searching. I've got the search um, open and it actually, actually seems to be working a bit better, actually. Just type in a few words and it brings it back. Quebec is the name of this tune. And the words are, Jesus, uh, thou joy of loving heart, thou fount, I almost said font, that's why I stuttered there. Thou, uh, thou font of life, thou light of all, from the best bliss that earth imparts, we turn unfilled to heed thy call. Um, this is apparently, uh, Carmen says, one of his father's favourites. I don't actually know what my, my dad's favourite hymn is. Dad, if you're watching, what's your favourite hymn? Is it? Guide me, O thy great redeemer, by any chance? I think it might be. Perhaps you can let us know.
box was there. It came out as per your request, Bill. <laughs> So I can see John Hosking chatting away. John and Maurice are actually doing a joint recital, I think, tomorrow. Is that correct, John? You just let you, if you want to advertise your recital, please do let people let in the chat know. So John is a very, those of you who haven't seen John, I'm sure most of you have, John's a very, very good player, a very good improviser. Um, I've recorded him as well at Blackburn Cathedral. He's played here a few times. Um, and Maurice is a very good organist as well. Um, had lessons with, lessons with Howells, is that right, Maurice? And Maurice has been um, a very long standing member of our community. I think John and Maurice are doing a back to back organ recital on John's YouTube channel uh, tomorrow night. So do go and support them. Um, I, I'll definitely be there. So I'll be chatting away and causing all sorts of trouble. Getting my own back, I think, because you cause all sorts of trouble for me whilst I'm playing. Next hymn is from Wales. So let's go down to Wales and listen to one of the all time great um, Lenten hymns from Llandaff Cathedral. It is 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> Just only a couple of naughty chords in that. Um, I actually like the harmony um, uh, to that hymn actually as standard. I think it's rather effective. And if you, there's just uh, on the cadences at the end of each, uh, alter, uh, um, every other line, so the second and fourth line. If you just, if you just um, change the harmony just slightly, it makes it really quite fruity. I think. So actually, there are more hymns to come from Llandaff, um, but I will save them for later in the week. I'll put them together in a, in a one long video, so you don't need to listen to any waffle from me. Um, so look out for that. I'll probably put it on either tomorrow or over the next couple of days. I thought they were here for the waffle. I thought that's why they tune in every week. Waffle. 
not that not sort of that waffle. I think the food maybe waffle with sauce on top, perhaps. Not this waffle. Um, although I, it's it's hymns and organ music now. I've taken the waffle out. Oh and actually, the num the numbers are higher now. I've taken the waffle out. <laughs> so it just just goes to show, doesn't it? So the next hymn has a bit of a backstory. So I'll read this through. Um, it, this re this request comes in from Derek. Um, Derek Horn, who says, I understand if you don't want to read this or play my request as I don't want to upset anyone and I know it doesn't fit with the Mothering Sunday theme of today. Well, I am going to read this, Derek, because it's, it's, it's very sweet. And uh, we, we can all relate to what you've written here. So, however, one of my two beloved cats suffered a fit and died in uh, Derek's arms this morning. Um, I hoped you might consider playing this both as a tribute to Carling, I didn't name him, he says, but also so that we might all offer thanks to God, not just for his gift of all nature, but especially for the animals that bring us so much love, pleasure, joy, and companionship, and mayhem and chaos. Oh no! Sorry, that, that was that was just me adding that. Um, he says he would he prefers the tune Royal Oak. Speaking of a, a chaos and um, carnage, there's someone right here. Are you going to come up whilst I play this hymn? We've got this little Bobby fairy creature pass here. On her respects to Carling. Yep. So actually, it's funny, isn't it? Bobby has just arrived, just at this moment, as I mentioned uh, Carling's name. Maybe there's something in that. Um, Thank you in advance, and please could you give a special stroke or cuddle to Nala and Bobby for me? Well, I can definitely give one to, to Bobby. Here she is. Here she is. I can give you a cuddle. Can't I, Bobby? Now, the question is, are you going to, can I play this hymn with you there? No. Is that far too risky? She, no, seems, Bob, to be, she Bob, seems to be quite settled. Bobby will be gone. Oh, Bobby. Are you going to... You'll have you, to just play it right hand only. Are you going to be gone, Bob? Game? Well, let's just have a bit of a laugh, shall we? I'm sure Derek might appreciate this. Look, uh, so let's see what happens, shall we?
Well, welcome for staying there. That was um, a bit of a surprise, actually, that you managed to stay there for that entire thing. I thought you would have got bored and wanted to get off. But you stayed there. You stayed very still. You stayed very still. I'm not sure how comfortable you are. Because your back core is sl slipping down, isn't it? Well, she seems to be settled because she just tucked in her, in, in her pads now. <laughs> well, can you see the cats do... Oh, she... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thanks, Bobs. Uh -oh. I'm actually now covered in cat hair She's as well. ruined the moment. Come on. Come on, <laughs> you. She's ruined the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob. So, uh, just back to... Back to business, Bobby. Let's not let's not get too distracted by furry creatures, by furry pussies. Who was it? Carmen. You, I think I saw it in a in in. A, I, I don't know. That was the um the, the um what chord was that? I don't know. <laughs> it was um. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of something clever, and I can't. Bobby flat minor. <laughs> Uh, dear Bobby Flat Minor. Or the third must be, bobulation. Must be something with cat in it. The third bobulation. I can't think of a chord with cat in it. Like, ah, uh, oh, there must be something. I'm annoyed. The moment's gone. What's the um? What's the key thing to comedy? Uh, I don't know. Timing. Timing. We've missed the timing. <laughs> <laughs> missed it. So Carmen, you did request Blind Worm last week, uh, but look, my friend, someone else has requested it this week as well. So, James Palmer, my man, James, uh, loved Divine and loves Excel, and he says, this is what James says, actually. Oh, thanks, Carmen John. Foster. Thanks, for your th thanks, Bob. Bobby says thanks. we put that towards Bobby's um, biscuits, Bobby's shall we? Biscuits. Thank you very much, John. Um, uh, James says, Carmen Foster asked if his super chat from last week could be carried over as there wasn't time to play it. So there we go, James. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, James is always on the ball. Speaking of James, James is one of our um, producers um, who works very hard to help me make sure everything's going um, Josh as in, well as it Josh can. Josh is in the hot seat tonight. I was just about to say. Um, so thank you, James, for doing that. Josh is, as Caroline has just said, is in the hot seat indeed, uh, making sure everything's okay. So Josh has said that the audio and great the audio video are great so far. Anything could happen. Because um, I haven't got my GH5 fixed, I'm having to use the dodgy setup with the, um, the camera that does weird things. Oh, is that so, thing? Oh, do you want me to switch it off for you in a minute? It seems to be going okay. Oh, it seems to be going alright, but you might want to just switch it off so we can it, maybe we just clear its buffer or whatever it needs to do. So yeah, let's have now Blind Worm. We have this a lot on VC. It's one of the um, a VC favourite. It's definitely one of my favourites, but you know that already. Um, and I would have loved to have played it in Flandaf. I should have just played all my favourite Welsh hymns, shouldn't I, on that <laughs> organ? That would have been that would have made a good video. I should have, why, didn't, why didn't I think of that? I'm sure, to, though, I'm sure they'd invite you to back, back to go and do a Welsh hymn fest. I know, but I've got other places to go to, haven't I? So it's it, maybe maybe in the in the future. If we'll you ever go, go to St David's, you could stop off on the way. <sighs> it's a long way, isn't it? We'd have to stop off somewhere on the way because it's a long old road trip to St David's. Love to vinyl, loves excelling. It's sponsored today. That's uh, requested today by James uh, and sponsored a couple of weeks ago by Carmen.
It is, of course, one of the greatest hymns, isn't it? I actually never get bored of playing that. I never get bored of the words either. Um, and I'm actually really glad that you request it so regularly because it's it is a um, a stonkingly good hymn. Words words are by whom first person to write the um, the author of the words. Wins a cookie. Daniel Kubaki, who's been um, saying a few times. Uh, making sure that his request has made it in this week. Well, it has. It is, uh, he says, it's a fun French tune. A good Mary hymn. So, what has Daniel sent in this week? Well done, Daniel. We got it, but which Wesley? That's the question. Half a point to you. Which Wesley? As there are quite a few. It's quite a big family. Quite a big Methodist family. So Daniel sent in um, him, um, he requested, Ye who own the faith of Jesus, sing the wonders that were done, when the love of God the Father over our sin the victory won, when he made the Virgin Mary mother of his only son. Hail Mary, hail Mary, hail Mary, full of grace. There are seven verses in this particular hymn book. And I'm sorry to say, Daniel, but I'm not going to give you all seven. Because of... I long. So I'll give you three, if that's all right. The tune is called Daily Daily. And it's, yeah. The uh, words are by... I don't know, actually. It, words are by V. V. Stuck. <laughs> Stucky. And then what? It says here, V. Stucky S. Coles. Right. I don't know why two of those names are abbreviated, but there we go. Or initials, should I say. One more hymn to go after this, and then we'll go into our top five. Good. Thank you very much, Daniel, for sending uh, in Daily Daily, uh, a hymn that takes me back to my days as a chorister. Reminds me of uh, being a chorister and singing that quite regularly, it seems. Maybe once a year, but it seems like a lot of times. So the next hymn, I'm just going to play to you. 
is something that you probably won't know, but it's our final pre-requested him before we go into our top five. And it comes in from Andre, um, who says this. Hello, Richard. I like to listen to VC regularly, usually with a weekly delay uh, from an audio, uh, from a recording on a smart TV via an audio system. I have a request to play the supplied him, because he sent it through on email. I have a request to play the supplied hymn from the Christian hymnal of our church, the Brethren Church. I would like to dedicate your interpretation of this hymn to my father and all his friends. My father is currently 92 years old and is the author of the text of this hymn. Um, now his name is um, Blahoslav. I must apologise because that is almost certainly wrong. Um, but it's Blahoslav Kostak. Um, and that is, I don't know, didn't say, uh, in the title of the hymn. Uh, I am sending, yeah, sending that. Um, uh, thanks for your, a lot. And I appreciate your beautiful work and interpretation skills. Andre from Prague. So unfortunately, I can't read the words. I can't. I, I literally can't read the words because they're in a language that I don't quite understand. Um, the translation of the first verse is this: "I have a Father in heaven and a good Lord. He Himself knows human fears and pains. He gives me strength every morning, and I go happily where the Lord is sending me." The refrain is: "I have a King in heaven. He is my good Lord." I want to be faithful always to give him my love. So I don't know what this tune is called. Um, yeah. Somebody might be able to identify some of that language there. Can you see that clearly? There we go. That's what I'm trying to, um, that's what I'll be reading. And I've had a quick look at it. Perhaps someone who's far more educated than I am will be able to um, tell us a bit more context as to what language that is. And something maybe about, about the hymn. I'll play, I'll, I'll play you um, it through uh, three times because there are three verses. And then we're going to Ian, Ian's top five.
actually a very beautiful tune it was indeed so Andre or um, maybe you go by the name of Andrew thank you for sending that one in that's a really nice tune a very nice tune right Ian you're up have you so, got have you, have you got it um, it's on its way oh, Lord. Um, so you may remember last week Richard asked for some Lenten and seasonal top fives while well, our resident lay canon Ian Garden has come up with a, a very appropriate top five for, for the day for the season Lenten and Marion top five to celebrate Mothering Sunday here in the UK yes indeed we're cutting it very fine with one of the um, one of the five in it's on its way to us <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced it will be here to be honest and well it is eight usable. photographs which might be uh, oversizing the email like not it but we'll yes but how yeah well. anyway so Ian Ian Garden is a, um, a very a very fortunate chap because he is in the close vicinity of Blackburn Cathedral he, re he regularly worships um, and administers is that the right word at Blackburn Cathedral he's a lay canon there so he must do um, an, an organist who's building his own organ in his uh, garage. Ian, how's your hearing? Because I think everyone who, who's associated with Blackbird Cathedral must be going deaf. Because it's so loud. Uh, Can you hear me, Ian? Can you hear me all right? No, he, can't, he can't hear your... <laughs> <yeah. laughs> um, so let's go into our top five. This is my, this is my as you know, this is my favourite part of the virtual church now. Thank you for the opportunity of letting me share our top five hymns. I say a top five because these five come to mind as suitable for the season of Lent and for Mothering Sunday. So here in England, um, uh, it is Mothering Sunday, where we, we give thanks to all mothers. Caroline, for example. Um, we also have a Father's Day, I'm very pleased to say. Um, and, uh, another seasons of the year and I would think of another favourite so he says I hope these five are okay Ian they're absolutely fine yeah if you think you haven't got them oh he's actually <laughs> given, he has given an alternative to the to that oh no it's on one. its way just let, let's okay, give it a few minutes we'll give it a, give it a few minutes um, anyway so first one in Ian's list is this one. It's Lord Jesus, Think on Me, to the tune Southall, or as the locals call it, Southwell. It's a town in Nottinghamshire with a very nice minister. Lent is a time for reflection and self-examination. This prayer, uh, this prayer-like hymn, acknowledges our human frailty and our need for forgiveness. But it is also it also recognises the Christian hope in the last verse. Lord Jesus, think on me that when the flood is past, I may the eternal brightness see and share thy joy at last. Sung to the tune subtle, it is a reflective start to my Lent top five. It's a really beautiful and simple tune, this. Very simple. Very straightforward, very reflective. As Ian says, it's a very reflective way to start. Um, at, at Lenten top five. Lord Jesus, think of me and purge away my sin from earthborn passions, set me free and make me pure within.
catches me out when a coupler is, for want of a better word, perpetual. So if I have, um, if I have, if I, if I pull out a swell read, if I pull out swell to great, or resi to grand org, and then grand org to pedal, it plays on the pedal. That catches people out because that shouldn't really happen. I know it does on some organs, but come on, that's not fair. I pushed in swell to pedal and everything, and it still played on the pedal. I didn't have swell to choir on. I just had, I had swell to great and then great to pedal. So then it came through onto the pedal. It wasn't my fault. Second uh, hymn in Ian's list, so this is number four, counting down to number one. Lent is sometimes characterised with the feelings of despair and lowliness. But as Christians, we are never alone, and our faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ keeps us in hope and resolves our anxiety. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on uh, thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. Uh, this is set to uh, Spelius' great tune, Finlandia, a tune that came into being to celebrate the end of a long period of despair in Finnish politics, indeed. So if you listen to Finlandia, this tune is presented in its full glory, just like you hear it in this, right in the middle. I must play that again, actually. There was a, a good organ arrangement of it. I have played that on BIS before, so I must get it back under the fingers. I remember being, some of it was quite tricky, but I must have another go at it. So, be still my soul, the Lord is on thy side. To the tune, Finlandia.
Plenty of rumble there for you, Ian. Also has, Olgan has a wonderful quint, which Aaron actually, on the um, organ demonstration from Plandaf, described it very nicely. Uh, Plandaf, they have uh, a number of 16 feet stops on the pedal, uh, um, and two in particular, a borden and an echo borden. And the way the quint works at Landaf, which is rather cool, is the, the pitch. So if you play an E flat, the E flat is then sounded by the borden. But then the quieter stop, which is known as the echo borden, then plays at the quint or the, the, the fifth higher. So actually, you have two 16 feet stops sounding at the same time two different stops and the, the borden is this is um, interesting for organ organists the borden is on the north in the north case and the echo borden was in the south case so if you stood right in the middle of the um, chambers you'd hear the e flat coming from your left ear and then the quint or the fifth the b flat coming from your right so you have that really wonderful stereophonic surround 32 foot effect so the next uh, right, check your email <laughs> uh, this is this is just like this is richard what, beauty is and sound press, isn't it? there is there it is it's a zip file no it's okay it opens preview it are you sure preview contents fine absolutely spot on um how am i going to do that well i'll do it for you I know what you're like with this sort of thing. What do you mean? So oh, mean no, to me. guys, but I've got people watching. <laughs> so I might be able to open it in um, <coughs> four score, actually. That <laughs> might work actually really well. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, look. Yes, it, it works. Marvellous. Patrick, you're a genius. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gene Patrick, for sending through. Ian's next request. <laughs> oh dear. Uh. Right, so Mothering Sunday is a, is a complicated day, is what Ian says. In some traditions, it is the day uh, midway through Lent when we have... Sorry, Ian. It's, it, it's the day midway through Lent when we can have a day off from fasting. Hence, its other name, Refreshment Sunday. Hmm. On Mother's Day, we celebrate our mothers. Traditionally, it was a day when workers were allowed home to visit their mothers. Now, we lavish flowers and chocolates on them. I hope Hugo remembered. Well, Hugo did get Mummy a very nice card and wrote a very nice message in there. Um, traditionally, also, Mothering Sunday is a day when the church honours the Blessed Virgin Mary. This setting is special for me. It was commissioned by the guardians of the shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham at a time when I was one of those guardians and I met the lovely Richard Shepherd on a number of occasions. It is a triumphant celebration of Mary's yes to God. My Lord and Saviour is my song. He fills my spirit with delight well what is it well it's it is um it's a setting of the magnificat the words have been slightly changed um to fit into a meter it's called song of mary the words are my lord and savior is my song he fills my spirit with delight to raise me up his arm is strong, the lowly precious in his sight. Magnificat, magnificat, magnificat anima mea dominum. I'm not quite sure that I can play everything here, Ian, because there's a lot going on. Oh, do you want me to do some right hand no, action? I, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, you have no faith <laughs> in my right hand action. We've heard you play. What do you mean? On here, I've heard you do duets. <laughs> no, so Zadok the Priest was a good I'll one, work, memorable. I'll work it out somehow. I don't know how, but I'll work it out. Make it work, won't we, Ian? That's what we'll do. So, this is number... Where are we up to? 
Um, this was number three in, in Ian's list. Only at number three, this has been going on for ages, this one. <laughs> um, right, let's go. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just do it.
They all enjoyed that in the chat. No one knew it, but they all liked it. Well, that's. <laughs> so, I, I think that's good because I think if, if you didn't know it, you'd probably think, "What on earth is he doing?" <laughs> I've played that a few times with the various choirs. It's good fun when when the um, it's uh, they do it a few times down at uh, Arundel, and it, there's a bit um where the ladies, the girls have magnificat, and then the gents have magnificat, and then it's the girls. Magnificat, and then gents, Magnificat, and it's, it sort of goes quite loud, quite loud. It's like, <laughs> you can just, yeah, the guys down at Arundel really get into that bit. <laughs> just make, can't help but smile at that moment and think, this is great. <laughs> right, number two now in Ian's list. <laughs> Back to something that I can play mm. on the organ. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you might do your twiddly bits on the tuba, actually. I haven't got a tuba. What else? Trumpet? There must be something on this organ. Well, yeah, there's that one. But it's quite hard when you're doing the choir bits as well. Yeah, exactly. So number two, <laughs> number two in Ian's list, uh, he says, it's, there's a wideness in God's mercy. This hymn speaks so clearly of the tenderness and mercy and the grace of God. For me, the marriage of a good text with a complimentary tune makes for a top hymn. The depth and breadth of Maurice Bevan's tune Corvedale does so much to illuminate Faber's words. But do we make his love too narrow by false limits of our own, and we magnify his strictness with a zeal he will not own. Was there ever kinder shepherd, half so gentle, half so sweet, as the saviour who would have us come and gather at his feet? There's a wideness in God's mercy, like the wideness of the sea. The tune, Corvedale. Wonderful tune, this. Wonderful tune. Let's get the corne. See what? Let's get the corne fired up on the resi. You haven't had that one yet. So let's let's give it an outing. Quite a great, great pedal, quite a pedal. No swell to anything. Here we go, this is number two in Ian's list.
wonderful, wonderful hymn indeed. That was number two in Ian's list, and number five. Sorry, number, well, this is a fifth, but this is actually um, possibly Ian's favourite. And this is a lot of people's favourite as well. He says, this is definitely one of my top five hymns. Indeed, it may well be my all-time favourite and certainly meets a test of a good marriage of words and tune. Lent is easier to keep as a period of reserve and reflection because we know that when we seek forgiveness, we will be redeemed and made whole again and our reward will be in eternal life. Then we will sing with heavenly choir, thousands of thousands stand around thy throne. O God most high, ten thousand, ten thousand sound thy praise. But who am I? It is, of course, how shall I sing that majesty? By the way, we are, I'm sure you, you know by now, uh, and there is a link to the organ in the description of this video, but we are using the, the, um, the, the Flegel's organ of the Schlosskirche in Chemnitz, in Germany, built in the uh, French style, very much built in the French style, actually, uh, built in uh, Kavai Kol style, and you can buy it from the BIS official shop, beautyandsound.co.uk. I'm very honoured that these uh, sample set producers are entrusting me to to um, sell their organs for them, like Piazza Grabowski and uh, Pipe Loops, who've released this one. So go and check it out on the shop. Link in the description. So how shall I sing that majesty to the wonderful tune Kofen by Kenneth Baylor? I've got all sorts of chaos behind me. I've he got lost all his sorts. place, he well, lost his place. What, what would you do? You would if you had like <laughs> a cat behind you. And, yeah, I didn't know what was going on. Oh dear. <laughs> oh.
And that draws a close to Ian's top five today. So thank you very much, Ian, uh, for requesting that, sending in your top five. It's about time he sent in your top five. Because he's been around for a while, and I know that you know a lot about hymns, and you're spiritually and liturgically well clued up. So it's about time you sent in the top five. And it was well worth the wait. So thank you very much, Ian. I think lots of people are going to go and listen to The Shepherd now on wow. the back of this. With a choir. Oh, a proper, proper version. Yeah, it's quite good. I'm so sure it's, it's there's called, a recording um, of it online. It's called uh, The Song of Mary. It's on YouTube a few times. Uh, so just a quick shout out to anyone who hasn't yet sent in their top five. Please do. Okay, so we are actually making good progress through them. Um, so if you want to send in your top five, you can. It doesn't need to be your all-time top five. It can be your top five for a certain season or top five, you know, uplifting hymns. So whatever you want. Right, we're now into the live request, Richard. First one comes from Ryan Frederick. He would like Westminster Abbey, the great tune by Purcell. And he said, I need to hear somebody do it properly after I bungled it at church this morning. It's in, in the hymnal if you want, to save you the time. Ryan has been um, talking to me about um, hardware related issues. Have you got them sorted, Ryan? Okay, so, uh, well, as Caroline just mentioned, this is, um, is it Crisis is Made? The, 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 the Shore Foundation. Foundation, yes. To the tune Westminster Abbey, where uh, Henry Purcell, of course, was organist and director of music um, in the, presumably, the early 18th century. I don't know, when, when was he at the Abbey? I don't know the dates when he was there. A long time ago. Well, so, so it, he was late 18th century, but um, uh, so some, I'm sure someone will confirm the dates for us. This was a great tune. He died quite young, didn't he? Personally. Yeah, well, he liked to he liked to live, basically. He, liked to live. he did. He liked to but live. In the 21st century, people who like to live still manage to live to an older age <laughs> because of the advances of modern medicine. That is very true. <laughs> Here we go.
So a bit of Westminster Abbey there for you. And now into a bit of Piven Pivensey. Pevensey, is it? Pevensey? Peven well yeah. Pevensey. I, I, I prefer Pivensey. <laughs> this is Carmen <laughs> Foster's like request. A child. Far from all care. Carmen's Foster's request. What is it then? So uh, far from all care. We hail the Sabbath morning over waving fields at a from the distant sea, swell notes of praise and harmony resounding, as in creation turns her heart to thee. Four verses of this. Do we have any context around what this hymn is? Um. Carmen, just let us know why you've requested this, what it is about it, and maybe just tell us something. Tell us why you've, why you've sent it in. I, lo I love to hear why people request um, certain hymns, of course. Okay, let's go. Well, thank you very much, Carmen, for that. Uh, far from all care, we hail the Sabbath morning. Gavin Clark says, my subwoofer is ready for the Lord. You need to turn off my um, thing, please. Caroline. Oh. Oh. Did you I turn, turn it? Leave, the, leave, leave that thing turned off. Did I? Yes, it's turned on now. Oh, sorry. I was going upstairs Can't to find you that voluntary. Can't get the staff. Erin, Erin, we're going to try and find your voluntary right, for the I end of the just... show tonight. Erin, the 18-year-old organist. I'm okay. going off to try and find it. Okay. But before you do that, don't forget to turn on cameras. So I wasn't <laughs> talking to myself. Ah, oh, right. So here we go. Yeah. Back. So what was I saying? 
Um, I can't remember what I was saying. Gavin Clark, my subwoofer is ready for the Lord. I like that. That's very good. I'm, I'm sure the Lord will be um, grateful for the bit of bass. Um, and our next request comes in from Sandra Spears, who's requested, all hail the power of Jesus' name to retune coronation. Um, thank you for sharing your beautiful talent on Sunday. That's very kind, uh, Sandra. Very kind indeed. I really appreciate that. Um, even though some things don't always go according to plan with the cameras switched off and there's a, a weird still of me. <laughs> Sandra, do you mind if you don't have all the verses? I'll give you four verses. Is that okay? Um, I'll, let you know, I'll let you into a bit of truth. I'm actually feeling very, very tired. Um, I had a really busy week. So yesterday, I was um, up at, well, up, I can't remember what time I was up, but I had to drive into, up to North London, from basically down in Hampshire, up to North London to pick up my chamber organ, to drop the chamber organ off in Guildford, to then drive home, and then had to go to a concert myself to play the organ for an all Vaughan Williams concert. So yesterday was quite literally non-stop. And that was after a week of non-stop editing. Um, and I must say, I love it. I absolutely love it. You know, it's, it's just the best thing in the world. And when people say that you, if you find a job that you really enjoy, you'll feel like you never work again. And I feel a bit like that now, actually. I feel like I, I love it so much that I don't, it's not work, it's a passion. Um, so the Landaf took, took up all week. Next week is going to be Lincoln. So I was at Lincoln Cathedral and I was um, doing the same thing there. That's going to go online on Holy Saturday, um, Saturday before Easter Day. So I've got a few more days to sort of get that finished. So, um, that's going to be fantastic. A Lincoln recording is oh, it's fab. Anyway, before we get there, we have to get through uh, Sandra's request. All hail the power of Jesus' name to the tune Coronation.
Thank you very much, Sandra, for sending that through. What a beautiful, a beautiful tune that is. Very beautiful. Right, next up is from PGM Music. PGM Music. Loved with everlasting love, hymn tune, Calon Lan. Um, oh, yes. Ancient and modern 73. Do you want me to get it, or do you think you have it in your... Uh, uh, no, you, could you find it? Uh, what is it called? What's the first line? Calon Lan. C-A-L-O-N. C-O-L-A-N. C-A-L. Yeah. B-A-L-O-N. I don't think I have that, but I know it. Sounds no, Welsh, doesn't it? Not, 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 um, not there. No, did you manage to find the voluntary? I did. So, Erin, I found it. Yeah, that's it. It so wasn't who, very easy to find, but no. I found it. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Richard, for your 49.99. You had some very nice donations tonight. Thank you very much. I'll, I will, I'll treat the order donations tonight as your, um, as your virtual honesty ticket for the Flandaff recital for last night and the demonstration and also in advance of the, um, the hymns that I'll put together into a single video. So six or seven hymns I played, I'll put them all together, some nice editing, get some shots of the architecture and they will be online in the next day or two. Um, I look forward to that because the organ sounds absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. So who was at this? PGM Music. Thank you very much, PGM. Now, as time is, uh, is running out, I'll just give you two verses of this one. On the clarinet, down the octave, shall we? Let's be, let's be bold and go down the octave. Calon Lan um, is the name of the tune. Music by John Hughes, um, arranged by John Barnard. Words by George Wade Robinson. And actually there are three verses in there. But just due to, due to time, we've been going for uh, two hours, 20 minutes. I actually just short, uh, short changed PGM spy for one verse. So I think we've now reached Apologies. our final hymn tonight. Apologies. Yes, our final hint tonight is the request, Nos. which the crest came in from Jerry Hall. Jerry if you Hall. have time, think, keeping with the Welsh theme today, I would love to hear Ahidinos. Yes, God that madest earth and heaven, darkness and light, who the day for toil has given for rest the night. Wonderful tune, this. Really, really gorgeous tune. Only two verses again, because there are only two in the hymn book, actually. Um, what should we have? 
let's have the 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 corner on the resi because that is nice actually and then we'll build up from there a little bit and it sounds a bit like this Well, thank you very much for the donations that I've just come through. Um, namely, let me just let me just see. Um, so Marty M, who just sent in uh, ten, uh, Jerry Hall sent in fifty, uh, and Richard uh, Richard T has also just sent in fifty. Thank you so much uh, for those donations. That's very kind, and really really appreciated. I'm so glad that you've all enjoyed the. The Landaf series. Um, I really enjoyed putting it together. And look out for in a few weeks, we'll do the same again from Lincoln Cathedral. Lincoln Cathedral, for those people who don't know it, is often regarded by many people as one of the greatest of all cathedrals in the entire world. It's massive. It and, really and the takes organ. It really takes your breath away when you go in the cathedral. It's just there's so much to it. It's it's on this wonderful hill. It just sits like a sleeping lion on this hill, just overlooking its territory. It is like a castle. It's just right at the top and sits there. Because Lincolnshire is actually very flat, uh, apart from this hill <laughs> where the cathedral is. And uh, the organ, um, an original Father Willis, actually it was one of Willis's last organs, actually. Uh, it's a four manual, largely untouched since it was put in it's un under the care now, Harrison and Harrison, who were very sympathetic towards it. Um, and it's wonderful. Uh, so that will be going online in a few weeks' time. And I can't wait to start putting that together because it's an organ that I've known ever since I was a young boy. And I remember writing to Colin Walsh, um, uh, writing actually with a pen, you know, back in those days. Um, and he responded. Um, with a pen, and I um, went to play the organ after an even song, um, and I was only a teenager at the time. And it was one of the first organs that I played, and it had it, it made a lasting impression on me. It's a wonderful place. That's so nice, isn't it? That you wrote to Colin Walsh when you were a teenager, I did. and now he's, well, you host Colin Walsh on your home organ. Well, he's. I, I've, I've said to the people uh, when I when I um, when I made that when I announced him when he was here. I said he's one of my heroes, and he is one of my heroes. He still is one of my heroes. He's just a wonderful organist and a wonderful person. And don't forget, in your interview, he said that Lincoln Cathedral Organ was his favourite organ ever in the whole world. So, 
There we go. He did do that sound when I asked him that question. He did, but he, 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 he you no, know, he. Yeah. So yeah, look out for that, guys. It's going to be fab. So the voluntary tonight has been requested by Erin. And Erin Bruce says this. Hi, I'm Erin and I'm 18. I've been given the opportunity to play a voluntary at Salisbury Cathedral at the end of April, which is super exciting. And I've been and I've chosen to play this particular piece. This will be my first time playing in a cathedral and I'd love to hear you play this. Thank you for all of your wonderful music. Well, Erin, it's an absolute pleasure. Now, I haven't practiced this, so you know, you've, you've, you've had the good fortune and, uh, and, and luck of being able to practice for your voluntary in Salisbury. I haven't practiced this. So, <laughs> Would you like me sure, to turn the page for you? I'm sure, Erin, you will play it a lot better than I. Um, but when you, go, when you go to Salisbury and you play the voluntary, please do um, send me a picture. I'd, I'd love to see you playing it. I know the organ there well. Obviously, I've, I've recorded it a few times. Uh, on BIS and I've played it a few times and I know the organist's there so Salisbury is a place which is close to my heart so I uh, hope it all goes well for you Erin. So this is Takata in seven. Yeah, good luck Erin. Well what about me? Where's well, my, where's oh, yeah, my good, good luck, luck Richard but you know come on. Erin doesn't need it. Yes yeah, she does I it's think, her first I, time. I think she'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> the organ at Salisbury will just do the work for you it's such a wonderful instrument. So Takata in seven by John Rutter. There you go, Aaron said good luck in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Dear. <laughs> Would that pass? I don't know. Would that pass a grade eight exam? <laughs> it might you did get miss a, out some notes in the left hand. It might get point. a. It might get a. Must a try harder. <laughs> well, I sort of go. I, I go um, with the concept of if I think I'm going to play a wrong note, just don't play it. So all those notes that I missed out, I, just, I think they were, they were going to be wrong notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. I know another um, a very eminent organist who went along those. Um, that school of thought just missed out loads of notes because he didn't know how to play it. So, 
It's a fair point though, isn't it? If you gonna if you if you think your hands gonna play some wrong notes, then just don't don't even bother. But I think that was alright. That is actually a good lesson in sight reading. You have to keep the pulse going. Exactly. So if you attempt oh, yeah. to play every note and sac sacrifice your rhythm and pulse, then then you've lost. I'm sure Erin will play that spectacularly, and I look forward to hearing all about it. So I think on that rather fun note, I think we should call it tonight because we've been going forever. Um, <laughs> two hours thirty minutes tonight. Uh. tonight. Uh, but look, it is, uh, it's a real joy to be here on a Sunday, in all seriousness. I really love it. Um, and it really takes a real reason to have to miss it. Um, but I really love doing it. I love doing it because I love being with you. And it's just a, a whole load of fun uh, playing all of these hymns, uh, meeting new people, and hearing your stories as well. So send in your stories, send in your top fives. Um, and keep on requesting the hymns. Thank you to everyone who has donated tonight. There's been quite a few of you. So the people I can uh, see on the screen, uh, apologies for anyone who have missed, but Bill, Jerry, Jim, Gregory, Seth, Carmen, Jerry, Ryan, Katrina, Sandra, PGM, uh, John, Jerry, Jim, Ian, Richard, Marty, Jerry, uh, Richard T. Jerry Hall, you've been very naughty tonight. You've been very generous. All those Jerry's were Jerry Martin and Jerry Hall. Thank you very much. Well, Jerry Hall sponsored a hymn, and then as you were playing the hymn, he sponsored you again. That's, that's very, very generous. Thank you very much. Um, and of course, all, all the names will be on the screen on the end credits. So I'll roll that now, um, and I will say good night. I'll see you next week. I'll actually see you. Um, to some extent in my Hlandaf hymns video um, so look out for that good night everyone you take care you st stay safe and I'll see you next time goodbye good luck Aaron <laughs>